Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, we're going to dive right in. We've got two techniques to do with fraying denim. You can see them in the background and let's get straight into it. He's just cut the denim into strips right up to the top. And they look like that. I think I'm also going to try these jeans as well, just because I think that the other one I just, they're just all different types of denim, so I just want to see what the effect will look like. So this time I have cut wider strips and I'm also going to mess around with shredding up and messing up the sides. So I'm just just pulling the threads at the side, pulling the some of the threads out as well. I'm just gonna do it on both sides. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm starting to add more slashes in these strips that I'd already prepared. I don't, or I didn't feel that these had frayed enough. So I'm just gonna go in using a scalpel and slitting even more of these fabrics. I've even shredded at the sides of some of those pockets but the strands have gone really thin now i've put several cuts into the strips and let's see how we get on surrounded by jeans all over the floor <laughs> and i've been cutting them up and whilst i'm just waiting for the washing machine to pull out the frayed bits and bobs i've been doing i have started doing a kind of well, I've put some hessian fabric down and I've been poking through some strips of denim, which I'm going to show you what I do. It's a process which I've done before. I've done a video before, which I will link below. It was done a long time ago though, so I don't know about the quality of it, but anyway, I will link it below. But meanwhile, I've looked at a few bits and bobs that were on Pinterest with what to do with denims and I got really inspired so I thought I'd have a go at doing a little sample and it's really really easy to do this. Just been cutting up these jeans. I'm just going to use a nice long length to show you because I want the strips to get larger and longer as they go down. So I'm just going to push that back and all I do, and I know that there's a tool that people can use, but I've always just, and, I, and I, I'm familiar with it. So this is the process that I'm going to use. You may not want to, but literally just poke a hole into the hessian fabric. Get your strip of fabric. It can be obviously any type of fabric, but I'm just working with denim today. And what I'm doing is I'm just pulling out that strip of fabric there, making a hole next door to it. And then I'm just gonna push that denim through. Turn it over and you can just grab that like so and you can see on the back that I've not done too much at all actually in fact that can be pulled a bit more there yeah so I've not done too much at all but I'm literally just messing about with this mini 
mannequin here. So I don't really need too much. But what I do want to do is just trim it down a little bit at the top. So I've used a mixture of the dark denim, this medium tone one, and I've also used some greys. And obviously you can get the different effects on the back of the denim as well. So it gives a real range of colour. Uh, what do I want to do? Right. So can you see this? Yep. So I literally just want to trim just a few of the ones at the top there. Scruffier the better, really. I'm quite liking this frayed effect on the side of the denim. Just going to do a few more longer ones. Okay, so I put some longer lengths on. Let's show you the back. So that's how much I've done and I've got obviously shorter cut ones at the top sometimes I've cut them diagonally across there just to give some different bits of texture some of the, the seams there are thicker so that's quite nice and I've turned over a few of the denim pieces to get some different colours showing through and I'm loving just this longer length at the bottom so now I just want to mess around with trying it on this little mini mannequin. You can see the size of it, it's tiny. This is what I want to do. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just cut off the back. Cool stuff, loving that. Let's get some pins going. Awesome. That's quite cool. I wonder if I could prop it up a little bit more like that, like a little bit of height. <laughs> yes, that's it. Right, oh, so this is what's just come out of the washing machine. So I just need to do a bit of a detangle. So I've managed to detangle most of that. They've got a lot of twisty bits in, which I really like. And we've got a lot of the fibres just getting tangled at the top there. I'm going to leave those in because I do quite like the textured effect. I've got some little bits here that I have just pulled off. But what I want to try and do is just overlap them to thicken them up. I am seriously not going to be unpicking any more of these. I'm happy with the way they are. Okay, so that's the first one I did. And then we've got the second one. I was just layering them both just to see I think it'd just make it a bit richer and thicker, but look at all that, that's gorgeous. You could have some real fun with just messing around with seeing what you could do with those sort of textures. But I might just pin them down and have a look at what it looks like draping. For tomorrow, tell me what the business is. Ain't about no club hop, I'm trying to start some business. So that's them draped down. That was the first one that I did. I do really feel that, I love the effect, but I do really feel that I need to layer them up to thicken them up. That's a bit better. I feel like that's just got a little bit more weight carried to it, layering it up. Let me know in the comments what you think that you would make with this sort of texture, it'd be really interesting to see.
it's a little stroke. Are you going to go in your bed? There you go. So yeah, I'm just draping it and making a few layers there. And even more. Even more. That. I think I like the weight of the fabric. I like the fact it's draping down. So I really like the idea of this having the waistband at the top there. I'm liking the frayed sort of gradient of colour coming down as well, the little flecks of white. I did my best out of what they handed me. Straight out of their country. No there is actually probably more I could do by messing about with layering up and but I'm actually really liking, that's the effect that I wanted to go with. Oh my shot, it dig as human air. And I need not mention no extensions, that's human hair. Boy, we grew in there. Around through that left side, low end. All of my need mowing. If you got beef, don't come out. Cause my young hitter might go in. Oh. I love this denim. I do really like this frayed effect. I knew it had some mileage. I saw it in that shop window in Manchester, city centre, in the week. Thicken it out anymore, maybe a little bit more. I really see it though, then can you? So, I hope you enjoyed this video today and that it gave you some motivation and inspiration to do your own work, having a go at this technique and the making technique over here. Is that one? And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you like. And I shall see you in the very next video. Bye.